Okay, reversing the change is slightly different than appreciation and depreciation. It's all about being able to read the question and understand that there's been some sort of change and you have to reverse it. Um, you'll sort of know, after doing a couple of questions, you'll always sort of see, like, it's all about last year. Now, what was it last year? Um, has it has gone up? Okay, so it says, number of members in a book club has gone up by 40% in the last year and is now 840. How many members did the book club have last year? So let's think about it this way. So it's gone up by 40% and it's now 840. So the, our answer should be less than 840. The way I'm going to do this is we've got start with 100% and it's gone up by 40%. So I'm going to add on 40%. So that's 140%. I'm going to stop there, uh, unlike the previous ones. So that 140% is equal to 840. Okay, so what I've then got to do is work at 1% and then work at 100%. Okay, so if I know that 140% is 840, what I do is I divide both sides by 140. Okay, so 140 divided by 140 gives me 1. And then 840 divided by 140 gives me 6. And then what I'm going to do is times both sides by 100. So it's 600, okay? So there were 600 members. Example two, price of a pair of shoes went down by 28% and now costs 54 pounds. What was the cost before the sale? So it's all about, again, being before the sale. It's already went down. It now costs 54. So that's telling you there's been some sort of change. You just need to look at the wording of the question Something's changed already. It is this now. What was it before? So the price has dropped by 20%. And it's now 54. So we would expect our answer to be more than 54 pounds. So this time 100%. And we're going to take away 28%. Which gives me 72%. So that 54 pound is equal to 74, 72%. So again, going to work at 1%. And then I'm going to work at 100%. And it works the exact same way. You just divide by 72 and then times by 100. So 54 divided by 72 is 0 0.75. Then times by 100, it's 75. So before the sale, the shoes were 75 pounds.